transistor has many uses it can act as an amplifier it can act as a switch it can act as a feedback amplifier for the different purposes we should construct the or connect the transistor in different way means there is a specified way for a specific use of a transistor if suppose this is the construction the main phenomena in connecting the transistor is let us suppose it is a pnp transistor this is emitter this is base this is collector emitter base collector here this emitter base junction is in forward bias because p type semiconductor is connected to the positive terminal of the battery this base collector region is in reverse bias base is the common input and output for the e and c in this situation we can say that this emitter base is in forward bias this collector base is in reverse bias in this state we can say the transistor is in active state in active state transistor will act as amplifier amplifier means which gives an amplified output a device which gives the amplified output amplifier means a device which gives the amplified output which gives the amplified output to understand this one uh, we will go to the some natural examples we know the power amplifier system PA system so suppose if a speaker is speaking something through the mouth the electromagnetic induction effect can increase the amplitude of the sound wave that's why those sound waves can travel to the large distances because their amplitude is increased this increase in the amplitude is said to be amplification the device is called as amplifier so how does this amplifier circuit will act see p type semiconductor connected to the positive because of the force of repulsion these holes will transfer to the n type semiconductor they can easily transfer to the n type of semiconductor whenever it is easily transferred the n type semiconductors majority charge carriers are electrons minority charge carriers are holes but these holes are once as a bulk it shifted to the n these electrons will transfer to the p so as the recombination takes place in the n but see this section this b base collector region which is in reverse bias what is the meaning of reverse bias p this p is having holes in the majority charge carriers and electrons are in the minority charge carriers these holes will construct are connected to the vcc because it is in the reverse bias that's why the holes will transfer to the negative potential of the battery so as a result here electrons will be there here recombination takes place and here also electrons will be there that's why current flows from collector to emitter where n become nth region will become empty so such like that the transfer of current is taken place in this type of connections so the transistor can act as for the different uses and how these uses are there before going to discuss these things we should find out the characteristics of the transistor transistor can be connected as three types first one is common emitter con configuration second one is common base configuration
third one is common collector configuration so these are the three main systems so this is ce this is cb this is cc but the circuit which i drawn is common emitter configuration now we are going to discuss about the characteristics of common emitter configuration or common emitter biasing of a transistor for this purpose yes we can we connected emitter to the ground input is a given from that section to the collector so vbb base bias voltage it is and when this base emitter junction this vbb will become vbe through a load resistor r2 and one microammeter is connected to find out the current passing through the different terminals of the transistor and then collect emitter and then it is connected to vcc vcc where we are taking as output through a load resistor called r1 and one a milliammeter is connected to find out the uh, the forward bias current in the common emitter configuration and this vcc will become vce so if this is the structure the devices are the semiconductors what we are using to construct the this type of amplifier circuits the vbe value depends upon their breakdown voltage the breakdown voltage of a semiconductor device is almost equal to its energy gap because the amount of the work done to move one coulomb of charge is equal to one electron volt such like that if you want to operate a silicon diode or a silicon semiconductor silicon made semiconductor up to 0.7 volts or 1.1 electron volts the voltage which we are applying is not reach to the 1.1 electron volts then the silicon diode is not going to work because the value what i applied or what we applied didn't reach it to the breakdown range whenever the voltage is greater than the 1.1 then the breakdown will take place in the silicon then the silicon semiconductor used to transmit the current through that like the germanium 0.7 electron volts like previously we have discussed gaas and gaas phosphide so these are all the different energy gap values and these energy gap values are playing the key role for the operating voltage and breakdown voltage so if you draw the graph between the characteristics of this common emitter configuration the graph will be like this now we'll see the output characteristics output characteristics of this uh, common emitter configuration yes we have drawn a graph between vbe by v2 ib base current so this vbe depends upon the breakdown voltage also up to 0.6 there is a zero value in the vbe by v ratio but after the input was increased from 0.6 volts again or 0.6 volts onwards then there is a breakdown appeared before to do this experiment we have fixed this vce voltage at 10 volts so vce is fixed and we are varying the vbe value and we are finding the ib so this is the graph between vbe by v2 ib so whenever we know the formula vce is equal to vcb plus vbe the common emitter voltage is equal to common base voltage plus base emitter voltage suppose if you want to increase this vce values it is better to increase the vbe if vbe is decreasing this vce also decreases 
because this common base configuration it has a lot of ratio it the ratio will be 49 more will be there so until and unless the breakdown won't possible means the the supplied energy of the potential is not able to break down the energy gap this type of graph won't be appear so in this case what we can understand is there is a graph between these two physical quantities we drawn the graph like this but still the resistance won't be same because v by a ratio is not same here the graph is different shape so as a whole if v b changes in a small amount therefore the whole current also increases if v b is decreased by small amount the whole current decreases if whenever the whole current increases the current due to the electrons plays the least role whenever the whole current decreases the current due to the electrons will play the key role this is why this type of different types of graphs will occur for the different types of configurations of a transistor now we will see the graph nature and the characteristics and the, the physical quantities that are obtained in this type of configurations so there is a graph between vce to ic the graph between vce to ic is if you see the uh, different plots maybe this one this one this one and this one this one and this one some 10 microamperes to the 60 microamperes where the graphs are plotted like this these are all are exponential growths exponential growth means yes here is the increase and once they got the saturation and the saturation voltage is continued for the long time the saturation it will takes place at higher voltages and that to be after the breakdown takes place so so for this zero the breakdown takes place at some near to the 1.9 so for uh, so next one it is taken at 3.8 like this it, these are the different types of transistors which are operated at different voltages and their corresponding collector current this transistor has some characteristics input resistance output resistance current gain first characteristic is input resistance we are giving the input to vbe and we are taking the output at vcc or vce so input resistance is the ratio between vbe to ib where vce kept constant the physical quantity is what we are writing here is vce kept constant so what about the output resistance RO output resistance is equal to RO. So this RO is delta VCE by delta IC. And this VCE will become VCC also. R0 output resistance. This output resistance sometimes it will be in the order of 100 kilo ohms also because output circuit output part common emitter suppose if this is ebc configuration the second part what is nothing but the base collector junction is in the reverse bias in reverse bias the mobility of the charge carriers is very less because resistance is goes on increasing in forward bias resistance is less so that's why this 100 kilo ohms order of the output resistance is possible because of the reverse bias connection between the base to the collector and the next one is current gain or voltage gain if you like this video please give a thumbs up please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on cbsc syllabus